Wakey, wakey, it's Eggs and Bakey with Killzone and Genesis. Holler at your boy. Now, we are about to go use the chess pieces and see what happens. Yeah, last episode we destroyed the... whatever the hell that thing was. That ugly looking... weak... yeah, that thing got... that thing got its ass in the Magnums, that's what we use them for. Oh yeah. That's why we saved that bad boy. Alright, so let's go use those pieces. Now, during this, uh, this run through, I think we're going to be pretty quiet throughout it. Seeing as, uh, there's a lot of cutscenes coming up. Yeah, there really is. So, unfortunately, you have to take a break from hearing our beautiful voices. Beautiful. But be patient, we will return. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can, right? Uh, naturally. <laughs> naturally. And we are unlocked, and we are going to head into a new area of the game. Which would be? Ah, uh, I think this is the laboratory area. Okay. Maybe not. We'll call it that. No, this is still the sewer. We're still uh. in the sewer. <gasps> Ada! <laughs> Where the hell have you been? She's, she's fell from the ceiling. What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere. Not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there, Leon. I know. Yeah, Leon, chill out. There actually haven't been that many As zombies officer, if you look around. My job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together. Okay? All right. We'll do this your way for now. Carefully, every time you do something with Leon, somebody winds up dying. <laughs> I like how she just falls from the ceiling, too. Like, if you <laughs> where the hell did she? Yeah, where did she go? I don't know. What was she doing? I'm trying there? to. I'm trying to remember where we last left her, and she was. I, I don't. I don't know. I just. I mean, she just fell from the sky. So um. I know the fans are probably wondering, Killzone. Oh, do I have to take care of Ada too now? Do nah. we have to take care of Ada? Ada will. Ada's gonna be a real big help for you right now. She uh, she's gonna take care of um, a lot of problems that we're gonna be seeing very soon. All right, that's good. I'm, we're gonna show you how you can use Ada to your advantage. Hmm. <laughs> I wasn't talking about that. Hmm. <laughs> She's pretty hot Asian. I'd let her do it. Well, I'm not gonna argue, but you know. Here's a here's a little entrance way. Um, you're not really gonna be able to do anything in there yet. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys where it was. Just a couple more ink ribbons. But um. I think it's a warehouse area, and you can't really do anything in the warehouse area yet. But we, I'm not sure if we come back to it, or... We're not, we're supposed to not done uh, playing the game yet, but I'm not... Yeah. 100% sure if we come back to this area or not. Um, I think there's something missing, or this is... Uh, it, it's, it's Claire's um, walkthrough is, like, where that's an important area. Yeah, it's not my own. I'm not too very updated. It's been a while since I've played. Same here, brother. Same here. So now we're going underground, and I think this is the laboratory, is it? Who is that? Ask someone in a lab coat. <laughs> Leon, that woman was. I have to talk to her. Oh yeah, thank you know. Thanks for saving me. You took a bullet, but I have to go. I have to go now. Like, you know, I'm just gonna leave, I'm just gonna leave you here. I, I have to see what that is. You'll be fine, right? You just got shot in the chest. You just wanted to save my the life. Back, but you're okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> Thanks, Ada. Just, yep. <laughs> so we have to find out who this mysterious character is, and once again we take over Ada Wong. Yeah. 
Now, in Claire's playthrough, I'm assuming you don't get to do this, right? No, I think you take over. You will take over a different character. I don't want to give away who it is. Okay. But you will take over a different character. Fair enough. <clears throat> and then we, this is where we encounter the bugs, by the way, back there. Yeah. Those little. Yeah, whatever you do with the with that ventilation area, do not stop. Those bugs will are a menace. They will eat you. Oop. Nice shot. Long distance, too. Don't move. You're the one who was with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong. Ada Wong. Bond. James Bond. <laughs> now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist What is she doing? His research used his girlfriend's She's dancing in this. Ada and John. How did you know? Who are you? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. What? Hey, bitch. John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus. Man, she's really moving her hips, man. G-Virus? Those hips don't lie. It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is... Precisely... My husband, William. And it's all Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. Well, so let's point the gun at people who aren't from Umbrella. Yeah, pretty much. Now we're going to see a cutscene with improved graphics a little bit. This way. This is where we meet. Well, we don't actually meet him, but this is where we are introduced to a mercenary character, Hunk. Hunk. What a great name. Hunk. Definitely. He's a mysterious character that Resident Evil seems to have uh, so you sort of come. lost connection We're with. Another character that they lost second. connection with. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. Oh! You might hit the sample. You might hit the sample. I love that. Did all right. Okay, let's move I wonder on. which one is Hunk. Is he the one with the case? I think he's the one with the case, yes. <laughs> Because later we'll see why. Indeed. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. I'm taking care of that full semi-automatic <laughs> clip that's inside your chest. Yeah, he's got he's got about six or seven holes in him. Even more. A lot more than that. Yeah, seriously. That ain't, that ain't no little BB gun. Ooh. Stars. Wake up. Are you telling me? He injected the G Sorry, virus into his own body. The G virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. Now it's time to get out of there. You got the case. Check it out. Over there. Bounce. Shoot! Eat this, you freak! Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Hunk is the one with the case. What is this thing? Hurry! Y'all yeah, better start running, you know. The reason why I say that is you can see the case has been dropped and only one of the what is this one of those guys is dead. And another the other guy is gone. So I'm pretty sure what happened here is Hunk took the G virus. See ya. Hunk took the G virus and ran off. And can't tell you why or where. Because that I think I think that plays well, an important Wesker part in plays an important part in later events in the series. So you don't want to give away too much in, too much information. Yeah, so it's kind of hard. <laughs> carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, Prepare yourselves. William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other creatures. And create offspring. No. Making babies. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, oh! Bitch slap. 
Damn. Too bad. Too bad.